Breaking. Devastating explosion at U.S. Military Recruitment Center. Here's who cops have in custody. Citizens in the heart of America were just rocked by the reality of the vileness that has infiltrated the U.S. after a military recruitment center in the heart of the country exploded overnight. While everyone was sleeping in what they thought was a safe small town in Oklahoma, one suspect went on a destructive mission he felt justified in which the left will likely blame on our president. Now that authorities have the individual responsible for this in custody, one thing has become very clear that cannot be ignored. The Tulsa, Oklahoma suburb of Bixby is home to men a proud Americans and our nation's heroes. It's not the place anyone expected an explosion of this kind, especially at an Air Force recruitment center. Unfortunately, no place in the U.S. is as safe as we think it is as the illness that drives people to destruction exists in the individual who can and will strike at any time, in any place. Now, we know why 29-year-old Benjamin Rodden blew up the Bixby Recruitment Center. CBS News reports, the FBI's Oklahoma City field office says it's taken a person of interest into custody in the pipe bomb explosion outside a U.S. Air Force Recruitment Center in this Tulsa suburb Monday night. A law enforcement source tells CBS News senior investigative producer Pat Milton the person is Benjamin Rodden. 29 of Tulsa, he will probably face federal charges after being taken into custody in a Tulsa area apartment complex, reports CBS Tulsa affiliate KOTV. The CBS News source says investigators haven't reached any conclusions about the motive in the bombing and haven't determined that it was an act of domestic terrorism. The investigation is continuing. Police also say a car was vandalized at the same location last week and FBI believes the two cases could be connected. KOTV adds, 29 years old Benjamin Rodden. Photo credit. Facebook you can expect that this extreme act of violence will soon be determined as workplace violence after Rodden made his feelings about his former place of employment known in a prophetic Facebook post. That government vehicle looks beautiful setting outside that office in Tulsa. That is how I am going to make up for two years seven months without a job and harassment. Rodden wrote on social media on Sunday, one day before the Monday night bombing, several days before the explosion. Some cars outside the center had also been targeted with vandalism. FBI agent Jesse Rice said agents were looking into a possible connection between the explosion and recent vandalism of vehicles in the parking lot of a nearby Air Force National Guard Center. The CBS report added, it's only a matter of time being lunatics on the left who are as insane as Rodden clearly is. Blame this on our military and not clear mental health issues that are obviously at play. This guy, with an apparent affinity for taking shirtless selfies, was unemployed and despite all of the jobs that President Donald Trump has created, he wanted to blame his former employer for not being able to find work. This zero responsibility game is a insert perpetuated by the left which perhaps drove this psychopath to do what he did and feel justified in it. CBS has more. Earlier. Federal authorities had said they weren't investigating the explosion as a possible act of domestic terrorism and that it could have been the work of a disgruntled employee or a prank. Rice told a news conference before the person was in custody. We don't know if it was a disgruntled employee, an act of terrorism or someone playing games. A device was set off around 10.30 p.m. Monday in front of the recruiting center, which was closed. Federal authorities said, no one was hurt. A spokeswoman for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives had said the blast was being treated as a possible act of domestic terrorism out of an abundance of caution. Because of its proximity to the recruiting office, the Air Force recruiting station is in a commercial area that also houses restaurants financial planning firms and other businesses. A movie theater is nearby. Acts of violence which either is or borderlines terrorism have become a mainstay in our country with homegrown groups like Antifa, Black Lives Matter, or just your average liberal making these occurrences so common and acceptable. 